I'm Leander Lovanderegg, uh, though I usually go by Lee, and I'm a junior in human biology, and my area of concentration is ecology, conservation, and global change. Um, and coming in as a freshman, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, and I was drawn to biology, uh, earth systems, and then the, my freshman summer, I did some biological field work with some grad students in the bio department and I realized that I really wanted to do ecology work and so I immediately started looking at biology um, but then I kind of over a, the course of about a week I realized that I could just take more classes that I wanted with fewer prereqs that I didn't think were directly pertinent to what I wanted to do in human biology and so eventually I I decided to enroll in the Humbio core and take the first quarter of that and see how it went. And I enjoyed it so much that I just stuck it out through the whole year and now I'm Humbio, kind of without ever having a, a moment where I decided. Well, at the beginning of last summer, I went out with two graduate students and we were doing what I saw as this very sexy project looking at all of these dead aspen trees and as we were going around through these stands I began to realize that the very cut and dried picture that I had of how these aspen trees had died which was ultimately what we were researching was far less black and white than I had initially imagined and as we were in these aspen stands like measuring how big trees were and counting mortality and looking at, at funguses and different pathogens on these trees, I began to realize how complex of system uh, we were actually working in and how what we were doing that summer was actually just a very small kind of introduction project to looking at the big picture of what was really killing off these aspen trees. And that was very formative for me and uh, led to a lot of the questions that have formed my honors project. But I think that human biology affords me the, the larger perspective in which I frame my research question. I think it is a systemic problem. It's a, a combination of many factors of uh, climate, of forest management, of the actual physiology of the tree itself. And I'm attempting to pull out one specific point, particularly the, the water relations of these aspen trees, and determine some kind of fundamentals about how aspens use water with the hopes that that will kind of illuminate um, the bigger picture and feed into the work that all all the grad students and the other people who are researching aspen are doing. In human biology you have infinite potential to combine all of the things that you're interested in. I for a long time was contemplating being a history major um, and then in becoming human biology, I was able to interweave a lot of what I really cared about in history, kind of ecological and environmental history, into the major itself. So right now I'm taking a history class titled Climate Change and the American West, and that's counting towards my major. So it was really the perfect way for me to do the two things that I loved, biology and also a little bit of history. The solutions are not as clear cut as I would like to think just coming at it from a biological perspective that you kind of have to take into account these historical uh, these historical ideas such as contingency and, and agency uh, to really understand the problems and, and get it concrete long-lasting solutions. And I think ultimately that no one has quite figured out how to, to integrate it all. Um, I think that the ecosystem services are a good step because that actually allows governments to assess how much, say, this tract of forest means to their people and then they can incentivize not cutting down that forest appropriately um, and kind of uh, internalize those externalities that no one ever thinks about uh, that are related to the natural world. But Ultimately, I think there's still a divide between 
preserving the natural world for the natural world's sake and human well-being that has not been bridged yet.